just watch. He's about to get punished. I'm going to show some kick. That guy's like, Back in my face. Find it again. R2. No, yeah, but what I will give him is that when we drill, he, he lets me hit him, like Joe lets me hit him, kind of, like he'll take punishment and he's fine with it. It's like, no, kick me harder, kick me harder in the leg, you're like, I'm gonna hurt my foot, kicking you, like, get out of here. Don't go soft. Yeah, you have to jerk, you have to really skip with it. Can't, look, I'm not gonna hit you. Yeah. Really, what we're focus on, focusing on is that obviously Chris is a tremendous athlete. He, um, I mean, he does stuff that people who've been training their whole life can't do. And uh, so I'm, we're just focusing on some small mistakes that he makes, footwork mistakes. You know, taking control of the center of the ring. This guy likes to put a lot of pressure. So just make sure that Chris is always in the stands, never caught off guard. Because you know, if you put you know athleticism and styles and and talent uh, combined, like Chris blows this guy out of the water. But you know, the, as long as he doesn't make any mistakes, he crosses his T's and dots his eyes, you know? Everybody, if you know how to fight and you know how to spar and you're comfortable and you've been there, you're, you, you know, you have 30 pro fights or whatever it is, yeah, you don't need to spar as much because what are you getting out of it besides you know, potentially getting hurt? But I think MMA is still, still such a young sport and people are, still need to grow as a whole in the sport, you know? You can't get that full MMA experience without sparring because it's either just striking or just jujitsu or just wrestling and then when it comes down to fight time, they're like, oh, and they freeze up in that, uh, in that middle area where, you know, so many people aren't 100% skilled, you know, and uh, even Chris has been doing this for a long time. He's still, there's still areas where when he mush puts everything together, he kind of, he might, you know, be lacking in an area where he, if it's just doing wrestling, he'd be fine. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this for ten years, but I mean, I spar because I like to do it. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. You know, I'd rather spar than go, you know, lift weights and or or just do jujitsu. You know, but I also get hurt all the time. So, you know, there, there's an argument. I probably don't need to spar when it comes down to my fight time. Maybe I'll spar a little less, to be honest. But I know how to fight. You know, I'm I think that I'm pretty well well versed in of mixed martial arts. I'm not saying that I can't get better, but I am, you know, the sparring might not help me as it would help some of these younger fighters. Yeah, 100%. I think that these guys are actually uh, as similar as, you know, as any two fighters in the UFC could be. But I think Chris, if you, I mean, if you just watch him from, from his first fight to now, he, he's getting better every single fight. So, it, you know, it's hard to say. I think that he's, you know, one of the best fighters in the world. So. You know, I think that uh, you know, last last fight he got a little overzealous and you know was fun, was, was tested a little bit. You know, kind of got gassed out a little bit. But um, I don't think that he got his butt kicked or or anything. I think he's going to come out really strong in this fight and beat this guy up. But fighting overseas, you know, I fought maybe four of my fights overseas, and I think that uh, it does play a little role as far as uh, your sleep schedule gets a little uh, gets and the time schedule, everything. And then finding you know the right foods to eat, all the foods that you, you know your diet is the most important thing I think when it comes down to the last you know two or three weeks of your of your training camp. So uh, I think those kind of those things could play you know could play a factor. But at the end of the day, a fight's a fight, and you know whatever you're doing, the other guy's doing the same thing. So you can't really you know 